everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your thrifty yarn host, Jennifer. Today, we're visiting the Dollar Tree. Well, we're not actually going into the Dollar Tree because I have to wear a mask at the Dollar Tree and it's a whole thing. I'd rather not video in there. <laughs> anyway, um, as some of you may have seen on my Instagram, I think it was about two weeks ago, Mr. Cinnamon took a trip to the Dollar Tree and he actually <laughs> sent me pictures and video from the local Dollar Tree because he always checks the yarn section at our local Dollar Tree to see and check for his loving wife to see if they have any new yarn. And they did. And I was super excited because it is Premier Yarn. And this is the Premier Yarn Just Cotton. Now, let me give you a little bit of advice on going to your Dollar Tree and looking for yarn. The yarn is not always in the craft section of the Dollar Trees. So you have to probably ask if they have any yarn and then search the shelves. My local Dollar Tree, the one that's closest to my house, has very, very little dollar or yarn. They have maybe five skeins at the most on the bottom shelf hidden where the squirt bottles are, the arts and crafts, like painting, like um, the little wood boxes that they have you can paint, um, that kind of arts and crafts stuff that at my local closest Dollar Tree. We don't go to that one. We go a little bit further and go to a different one that has an entire floor to ceiling shelf it's actually the end cap it's not like a full shelf but it's like the end cap is filled top to bottom with yarn including this baby and it is in the far back corner and if you're familiar with the dollar tree layouts it is in the far back corner where the cleaning supplies are why the yarn is stored there i have no idea but it's back by where the dish pods are and like the that weird yellow um, spray cleaner that they have called Awesome. Yeah, that's where that's where it's at in my local Dollar Tree. So check and ask. So this yarn, we're gonna do a contrast and comparison between this yarn and let me grab it. I don't have one. That's not half used. Okay. Between the Premier Home Cotton and the Just Cotton from Premier as well. They are both made by Premier. They are both 85% cotton and 15% polyester. You see the details right there. The Premier Home Cotton has between, it depends on what kind you get. This one has 131 yards, but the pink one I used earlier has 140 yards. The purple has 140 yards. This one has 130 yards. And some of the variegated ones have less than that. But the Just Cotton is not available in variegated. It's just solid color. And it is a hundred, is 104 yards. Okay, so this is a 60 gram ball. This is a 75 gram ball. And they are basically the same specs. They're both labeled as a number four. The washing directions is almost the same. As you can see by the little signals there. I cannot read that. That is tiny. Let's see. I also don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Machine wash, tumble dry low. Suggestion, please purchase a significant quantity of one dye lot to ensure uniformity of color. I clearly need to turn off my phone because it's dinging. All right, there. I think that worked. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm getting emails, guys. Now I'm shaking my camera. I apologize for the interruptions. All right. So what I did is I got. I want to show you the colors that we that was available at my local, my local Dollar Tree. They have this beautiful lilac-y color, and it is actually called the color lilac. And <laughs> Mr. Cinnamon went a little bit crazy. He said, well, I know that you can't make, this was really cute. <laughs> he said, I know that you can't make anything with just one small skein of yarn. So I got you multiples of three because usually that is my go-to method. I get multiples of three to make sure I have enough. But I told him, I said, it's cotton and chances are these are going to be washcloths. And this is enough to make a washcloth and probably a dish towel. So we gave him a little lesson, but hey, I always use more yarn, right? 
And then there's also this darker purple color. You can see the two different colors there. So this is the lilac and this is just purple. Isn't that pretty? I really like these colors. And then we have two shades of blue. We have sky and lake. Aren't those pretty? Look at that. And then that's it for this bag. <laughs> I had to look and see. But we have a second bag. This was all Mr. Cinnamon picked all these out. He wanted to get me all of the colors. All of the colors. We have Clementine. And we have Sun. Aren't those pretty? And we have Pansy. Not to be confused with... Actually, nope, that's the only pink I have. Pansy. And then we have the white is called Cloud. So those are the colors that are in this bag. Those are the colors. I will tell you now, these were a dollar per skein and they are available. If your local Dollar Tree does not carry these, guess what guys? You get these on Dollar Tree's website. But I will also tell you that periodically from time to time, Michael's, A. Seymour used to be like famous for it, but I have seen these go on sale for the Premier Home Cotton go on sale at Michael's for a dollar or 10 for 10. And A. Seymour used to do it all the time. That's why I have most of my cotton is because I would stock up when they did 10 for 10. So these are very comparable because you can get either or for a dollar depending on the sale. All right. Now what I did to show you, I used my handy dandy crochet hook. This is a size H hook. I used my H hook and I did a swatch and I did a swatch with both and I tried to pick comparable colors, the Premier Home Cotton and the Just Cotton. I wanted a feel for what this yarn was. Is it the same yarn? Even though it says it is the same, it's 85 cotton, it's 15% polyester, is it the same? The twists look very similar. Let me get it real close so you can see. Hopefully that is in focus. The yarn looks very similar. The color is definitely different. The color is definitely different. The twist is very the same. It feels, if you look at the strands side by side, it looks like it could be the same yarn from like a different dye lot. If that's even, I can't even tell if it's focusing. I hope that's focusing. All right, so it looks like the same yarn. Uh, okay, so the only way to test if it's the same yarn, if it works out the same, is to do swatches. So what I did is I wrote down the pattern of how I did this. This was using the same hook, and I used the same pattern of stitches for both. Let me move you in a little bit. I used the same number of patterns for both, okay? And... To start off with, one swatch looks smaller than the other. Um, I don't know if that is because my stitches were looser with one. I mean, there could be a great many reasons why the swatch would be smaller. One of the yarns actually seemed a little bit thinner, and that was the Just Cotton. Seemed a little bit thinner when working with it, but it is so minute, it is so minor, that... It just, it, it, it could be just the way it was spun, that specific skein. I just don't, it's just too close to really judge. It, it, they worked up very, very similarly in crochet. The difference that I did notice is the Premier Home Cotton feels like it has lanolin in it, which is normally something that yarn manufacturers will do to add a softness or a sheen to it. They add lanolin to it and it gives it almost like um, a lotion-y feel to it. And that's very typical of Premier Home Cotton. It, it's soft. It's it's plush. It's, it's a really nice cotton if you ask me. It's actually one of my favorite cottons. Um, the Premier Just Cotton was slightly less so. It was not necessarily scratchy but it just didn't have the the subtle the suppleness that the Premier Home Cotton does. So maybe there's a lack of lanolin, or again, it could be the dye lot. It could be the way that it worked up. 
um, there's a lot of reasons why it could feel slightly different. And, and even with like the way different yarns are dyed, you can go, if you have two Premier Home Every Days and you have them and like the dye took differently to one skein than the other, which is why there are dye lots. Sometimes, especially with purple dye, it will cause it to be slightly rougher. And I don't, I'm not necessarily sure why it does that, but it's something that has always been an issue with yarn is that like it will feel slightly stiffer or more rougher, but it's not scratchy at all. The only thing I could probably compare this to, the difference is, um, this feels more like sugars and cream or lily and cream cotton to where it's not as lanolin lanoliny. So let's show, let's look at the let's look at the swatches. Okay, they look like they could be the same yarn, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see a difference in this camera. The just cotton has color specks in it, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. That is the difference in the color. Like, <laughs> that's the only difference I see is that it's slightly got, it's got some color specs. Like right here, there's some blue and some red. And like throughout, there is definitely some color specs. I really hope this isn't blurry. It looks blurry to me. And the, the Premier Home Cotton just looked more like solid. And this has more like a heathered color effect to it. It's very slight. It's probably not noticeable to anybody unless you're really, really working with it. But this is, has more of a heathered look to it. Let me see if that shows. Sit. There you go. Right there. See that? It's very slight. It's just there's colored speckles throughout, which I actually really like. And this is more solid. This has got some different flecks in there, which I think is really pretty, but it works up the same. I mean, if you're looking at it, stitch definition is the same. It's pretty much the same yarn. I think there's like subtle differences, but not enough for it to be an issue. And then I didn't want to leave out the knitting. So I grabbed some pink. Let's see if I can get you guys back up. I grabbed some pink and I grabbed the Premier Home Cotton in the color pastel pink and pansy and again the colors are very close they're very similar this the pink and the pink did not have the color flex like the purple did so it's just it's very 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 close in knitting even and please ignore all the mistakes that i made in this swatch <laughs> this has nothing to do with the yarn whatsoever so this was the just cotton on this side. Let's see if we can pull you back even a little more. Okay, so we have the just cotton on this side and we have the Premier Home Cotton on this side. I worked these both up with the same four millimeter needles. I made this one first. And the reason this one looks different is because I was talking on the phone with my sister and apparently I cannot do both at one time. <laughs> so... There are a lot of mistakes in here, like this, for example. It's not supposed to be there. I did a yarn over here when I wasn't supposed to, so there's like a hole that I tried to fix. And the stitches are a lot more uneven and all over the place. So we're not going to use that as a judgment for how this yarn works up. We're going to pretend it's as perfect as this one, okay? And again, the, the, the differences are so minute. The pink actually felt more like it was the same width, whereas the purple was a little bit, well, maybe this is a little bit lighter. It's very, very slight. Like, they feel like the same yarn. They are even the same softness in the pink color, which is why I'm saying that it probably could be, like, the purple, specifically. It just, they feel like the same yarn. I'm guessing they're the same yarn. But... If you can find cotton at the Dollar Tree, why not go for it, right? So, my review is, these yarns can be intertwined. They can be worked together. It doesn't matter if you can get them for a dollar. Buy them both. They're both basically the same yarn. But I like I always like finding and going on a little treasure hunt. And if you're able to find yarn at your Dollar Tree, it's like you won a prize. Because 
so many people complain that they cannot find yarn at their local Dollar Trees. And I know that that is very frustrating. And I am sorry if you can't find it. But you can order this on Dollar Tree's website, dollartree.com. Not a sponsor. It's not an affiliated thing at all. But, yeah. I just wanted to give you that my little review. I do have a link for this Premier Home Cotton if you want to buy that. I think it's $1.89 on Premier's website. I think it's worth $1.89. But by certainly, if you can... Find it for a dollar. I think that's probably a better deal. Anyway, <laughs> I do have a premier, um, I do have an affiliate link for this. Uh, if you're interested, that will be in the description box. This comes in way more colors than this. So if you want just a plain colored cotton, you know, you could go for the just cotton. But if you want like the new stripey yarn, which is so gorgeous, this comes in stripies. It comes in like a a splash colorway which is like an acid wash for you 90s kids and it comes in variegated which I love working with the tutti frutti I think it is colorway yeah so all right guys I just wanted to do a quick contrast and compare of premier home cotton versus premier just cotton because I was asked by several people to do just that so it's the same yarn don't quote me on that it's the same yarn <laughs> there you go there's your your comparison I can't even tell which one of those are which from a distance could be that could be that all right guys I'm gonna let you go I'll see you in the next one I'm gonna go throw these in the bathroom because these little swatches are now going to be little face wash things little face wash things what do you call face pads wash face all right guys I'll see you in the next one bye